I love equipment. I'm outside, I'm working, you know, I can't sit at a desk. When a bunch of farmers get together, we consider ourselves a bunch of masochists for doing what we do because it's a hard, it's a hard living and we don't make a big profit. My son is now, he just turned 23, and when he was 20, he had an aggressive form of melanoma. Melanoma is skin cancer, and there's varying types, and he had a very aggressive form of it. And so he was covered, and in that respect, the coverage we had worked very well. They got it all, and then he settled into a year of chemo. It's not up yet. He's still going on a regular basis to a dermatologist to be thoroughly scanned. They continue to do CAT scans every six months. I believe it's five years until they pronounce you cancer-free. Of the two sons, I would have guessed that he was the one that was gonna run and go. He went to UMass Lowell for his junior year last year, and he came back here in March and said, you know, do you think I can come back? I miss it. I wanna be here. And that floored me. But he cannot come back here as an employee and have the business cover his health insurance. Farm is tough to turn a profit. Cancer is known to come back. Cancer is expensive. If we, if we cover one employee, we've got to cover everybody. We've got to offer it to everybody. And uh, it would put us out of business, pure and simple. We, we couldn't afford it. My concern is that he find a good job with benefits so he doesn't have to buy his own insurance. He loves working here, but and if he has to buy insurance on his own, he's a bad risk. You never know. I mean, we take one day at a time. Farmers are the eternal optimists. We can't stay, we can't do this without <laughs> being optimists. You know, it's always gonna get better somehow. <laughs>